had the interactive, and uh, this is something that, as I was saying, I wanted to do it for a long time. I wanted to create an artwork that wasn't just static artwork. I wanted to create something um, particularly school kids could get online and play around with it and learn about the environment. So this one was about Great Barrier Reef and El Nido reefs. So in this project, El Nido Resorts um, had me over, um, stayed, stayed in the Philippines with them for a time, and showed me around, and that was, that was absolutely fantastic. And a lot of support on this end from David Brewer and Sharon Tickle, who helped with um, what they did, the MIT part of it. So I'll just show you how this works. Okay, so instead of uh, just you know, looking at a, a, a static artwork, you can say click on a detail within the artwork, find the detail, and then a whole range of information will come up. The details from Marley's fantastic illustrations and also footage as well. And you know, the range of purposes for this this type of work, working this way, um, quite broad. And I, the next step is definitely to get this approved by schools so that perhaps kids can, uh, you know, not only learn through it, but start to think about things a little bit differently in terms of the fusion between the sciences and the arts. This one, for example, um, we've got mangroves here. We've got mangroves uh, in Queensland, and we've also got them at El Nido. So, we, we move up to here, you know, comparative type material as well. There's a, there's a whole range of different things that we could potentially do with this interactive. I think uh, David would like to say a few words. He's here. There he is. I'm just going to spend a minute giving the science perspective. I'm a uh, group leader of CSIRR. I've been a, a career in marine science. And <clears throat> when Ben approached me, I must admit, I did see some fantastic value in this. Um, the first point is that scientists are very poor communicators. If you've read, ever read a scientific paper all the way through to the end, congratulations. <laughs> but but um, we, we are not good. We're getting better. But this is um, a fantastic way of, of demonstrating science outcomes to the general public, to students, to bring students to science that might not otherwise come to science. And um, so I was more than happy to work with them on this project. And a special thanks to Sharon Tickell, who did the, a large amount of work I think the IT behind this, but because we, you know, there were a few teething problems given this is the first time we've really done this, but it's been great. And um, so I could see that this this type of thing, as I said, and Ben said, attracting um, more people to science, but also scientists themselves uh, getting a lot more ideas about how to communicate the outcomes of science with their public others. I can see this replacing our more static posters you see around the corner there, it's a bunch of posters. They can be, I mean, that's interesting, but I won't read it all. But if you had this and you just had to click on the spots, you can get a whole story told, whether it be a, whole, a bunch of projects that have gone from the beginning, the conceptual projects, right through to a more high-impact outcome, whether it's a piece of geography or like this, a comparison of um, you know, a theme around coral reefs or uh, something as some of Ben's, Ben's other work, which looks, looks at evolutionary time. So you can tell a whole story, and we're not good at this, but the artwork does the initial job of, of having the beauty and attracting people to the subject and then with the science behind it, I think it's a beautiful melding too.